What's up, YouTube family? Y'all, so I'm back at y'all with another video. And make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that post notification bell so y'all don't miss out on another video. Y'all, I don't know about where y'all live at, but in Atlanta, it's gonna be fall soon. And you can kind of see, like, the weather changing, y'all. Like, it looks so pretty out here. It's amazing. You feel me? But, um, so today's video, I wanted to come on here and make this video because I know, like, I'm not the only person that feel this way, right? But I feel like I'm way more positive when it comes down to other people, but not when it comes down to myself, right? So it's like, I always uplift other people, but when I fall short or... When something happened to me, I'd be like, dang, I should have knew better. I'm smarter than that. My dumb ass, this, that, and the third, right? And it's like, the way that we talk to ourselves is what we reflect out on the world, you guys. So, if I constantly call myself dumb, then I'm going to act dumb. Because that's what I'm reflecting out to the world, you guys. So, I've been learning to be, like, way more positive. Like, every time I get a like this morning, right? I had an idea come in my head, and then right after I had that idea come in my head, another voice came in my head and said, you can't do that. You got this, that, this, that, and the third going on. You're not going to be able to do that. So as soon as that voice came in my head, another voice came right then and said, you can. Right? So it's like, it's like that, it's like that God and that devil on your shoulder speaking at the same time so that's that's that took an alert in my mind because it was like okay so every time this happened this is what i'm gonna start doing and this is why i wanted to come share this video the same way the beginning of the chapter hurt and you went through pain is the same way the ending of that chapter gonna hurt and you're gonna go through pain because you're closing that cycle out and you're now elevating up to a new level you get what I'm saying? So when we elevate in life, we go through pain. We go through things where we feel like we can't make it out. But we need that support and we need the people that genuinely love us and that genuinely care about us to say, you know, you can do it. You can win. You got this. You feel me? So that's why I chose to make this message today because I feel like a lot of us, we just write people off and... Maybe maybe it ain't what we thought about it to be. Maybe we should have looked at it in another perspective, right? And even if it feel like I was right, I know I was right, and this person was dead ass wrong, and I was right for cutting them off, right? I feel like maybe y'all just needed a break. You get what I'm saying? Don't just be so quick to end something. Maybe it just need a break, cause this could be your long. This could this this could be your twenty year best friend. This could be your long term partner. You get what I'm saying? That's why as women or as humans, we can't just up and rush into relationships when we meet people, cause you never know like what it what's to a person. You get what I'm saying? So maybe this person could have helped you with your business, or they could have helped you long term. So I know as humans, we tend to go through this a lot. So this is what I decided to do, right? I decided to write down things like when I meet a person, what I just cannot deal with. You feel me? Like the, the I cannot deal with this out of a human. And the things that I feel like I can deal with, the things that I feel like I can compromise. You feel me? Because life, life isn't about being perfect. It's about living. You get what I'm saying? So you don't want to be so set on trying to accomplish goals that you forget to live life. You know what I'm saying? I still want to live, too. I still want to enjoy people. I still want to have a good time. So that's why I had to start, you know, setting boundaries for myself. So I said when people come in my life, they have to be willing. You have to be willing to change. You have to be willing to grow. And you have to believe in the impossible over here. Because God worked miracles for me. You get what I'm saying? So you got to believe whatever idea I come up with, I can do it. You get what I'm saying? Only thing I need you to do is help me come up with a game plan on how to get it done. I don't need you telling me that I can't do it. You get what I'm saying? So that's that's what I need. I need teamwork. I need effort over here. So it's like you got to sit down and you got to write down what I can deal with and what I cannot. You get what I'm saying? Some of us, we got to, we still have to have, we still have to have love for ourselves. So that's why we find ourselves in season alone is because we value people more than we value ourselves. So God got to sit us down and say, hey, look at you. Look at you real quick. You're beautiful. You're smart. You're intelligent. You, you're, you got the brain, you got brains too. 
You get what I'm saying? So don't let somebody else make you feel small or belittled about yourself. So that's why we find ourselves in seasons where we're sitting and we're growing. So when we grow, we got to know, okay, so now that we know this about ourselves, when we take it, when we take it out to other people or when we go meet other people, we got to understand that everybody is not the same. Yeah. And when you step out into the world, you got to know that it's not your place to judge. You feel me? Because you don't, you just came from that same place. You get what I'm saying? So you got to show sympathy and you got, you got to show sympathy and you got to show compassion to other people. You get what I'm saying? So not saying that everybody... Everybody that you meet, you can't just up and change and when you get changed, you get what I'm saying? When you get saved, when you get closer to God, you can't change everybody. But you can say what you got to say. And it ain't about saying, I told you so. It's just about spreading the word. You get what I'm saying? So it's never I, uh, I told you so moment. So anytime somebody needs you, it's just your job just to be there. And that's just what I'm learning. You get what I'm saying? Because you don't want somebody to be there for you when you down short and you down bad. So y'all, so I'm back. I had to do a couple of TikTok videos. Okay, so make sure y'all watch my TikTok. <laughs> and make sure y'all following me on Instagram. Okay, make sure y'all liking my pictures on Instagram. I feel like my Instagram deserve way more likes. Okay, y'all. So when y'all are on my Instagram and y'all do click on there, just give me at least like one like. Just just click one thing for me, please. And feel me, even the haters, even if you don't like me, if you're watching me, just be like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it known. I'm gonna make it known. I'm watching her. And just and just like it, you know. Just so I can know you're watching. You feel me? <laughs> but other than that, y'all, let's go ahead and get back onto the video. Um, back to positivity, y'all. I feel like earlier, too, God had me to sit down and reflect on my life last year. On my life last year, I was so sad. I was so depressed. And that's when I was really just not stepping into my awakening where I was really called to be by myself. And I felt so alone. And I feel like every time I go through that now or every time I, I get that feeling, I always reflect back to that time because I tell myself I made it out of that storm. You know, so I feel like everything, it starts within our mind, whether we believe it or not. And I was that type of girl, you know, I'm a positive person. I'm, I'm very positive. Like, come on now. I'm very uplifted. That's how I used to think. But I was, I was that positive, but not that positive. Like, I believe I get $1,000, but not $10,000. Like, come on now. 10000 But God said, I need you to be that positive. You get what I'm saying? I need you to be that. I need you to believe in the unbelievable. Because that's what God want to give you. He want to give you the stuff that you can't believe in. But first, you got to feel it. First, you got to feel like you deserve it. Because when you get it, it's like, it's like if you get something too early, it's a curse. You get what I'm saying? Because you're not really ready for it. So, that, therefore, you do reckless things with it. You get what I'm saying? You blow it. You give it away. You don't cherish it as much as you would have if you would have cherished yourself. Or if you would have just sat down and figured out life first. And that's what I'm learning. I'm learning that... Like God say, he a God of order. So I'm learning that life is is in order. It's the way that everything needs to be done. And I understand that I got big goals. I got big dreams one day. But I also want to be able to live it. And I want to be able to experience that life with somebody. You feel me, y'all? So with that being said, you guys, I kind of want to start something new. And I want to start opening up a business again, right? I want to make manifestation journals, okay? Helping us just to manifest the life that we deserve. Manifest the things that we want and the, the things that we desire. You get what I'm saying? It's not bad. It's not, a, it's not bad or it's not a sin to have desires. You get what I'm saying? Everybody wants something out of life. God give you those desires just to push you forward. Just so you can have a reason to live. So it's not wrong to feel like you want amazing things in life. But you just got to start writing it. You got to start acting in effect. And you know another thing that I'm starting to learn too? I'm going to start asking myself, what, what would my business self do? Like, what is future Jasmine doing right now? What is rich Jasmine doing? What, how, what is she doing right now? You get what I'm saying? So, whatever I feel like she doing, I'm going to do it in a present sense. And I'm going to just keep doing it until the two people coexist with each other. Until the two people are now living in one. You get what I'm saying? Because we can't say, like, okay, I, I don't know what to do. I don't have no plan. 
your future self didn't have no plan, but she made it. I got 110% faith, a thousand, a million percent faith that I made it in the future. I know I did. It's no way, it's no way possible that I did it. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's like I had to come up with something. I had to do something. I had to make something shape. So every every day that I'm waking up, I'm praying. I'm I'm starting to eat healthy. I'm taking my vitamins. I'm going back to the gym again. I'm, even if I don't make it to the gym, I'm going to at least walk outside. Or I'm going to go to my little gym in my apartments. I just don't like my gym in my apartments. It don't, it don't feel like equipped enough for me. But whatever I feel like Future Jasmine did to change her life, that's what I'm going to start doing because I can't just sit around, keep wasting time, wasting time, wasting time. Before you know it, I'm going to be 25. Before you know it, I'm going to be 30. And life going to be nothing past me by. You get what I'm saying? So life, I understand that life is not going to be the best. You get what I'm saying? You do fall short. Life, is, life to me is like the will of four times you up, sometimes you down. But in the end... You gotta, you gotta get what you deserve. You gotta look up, and you gotta stop the cycle. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm learning to break generation curses. I'm learning to stop old cycles, to stop putting myself in things. Cause I feel like every, everything starts in, in me. You get what I'm saying? So if I want, if I want anything different in life, if I want something to change, I have to change my life myself. And that's what I'm looking at too, you guys. So with that being said, that's why I feel like I want to I want to start my business again. I want to get back active on social media. I really don't know what I want to do on social media. I really don't I really don't know what my niche is. You get what I'm saying? How everybody say you need to find something and stick it to it. I don't know what it is, you get what I'm saying? But I just know I want to do it. And whatever I want to do, I'm just keep I'm gonna just keep doing it. I'm gonna just keep trying at it until I figure it out. One thing about it, you can't be scared to just you can't be scared to to fail. You know, because as many as time as you fail, let me tell y'all something with my first car, right? Nobody will give me a car. Nobody will give me a car. I promise y'all, I went to every dealership. I walked Union City, you guys. Walked every last dealership. I even went out to Marietta. Nobody will give me a car. My very first car, but I did not give up. Because no matter how many people said no, I knew somebody was going to tell me yes. You get what I'm saying? So, I ain't scared to keep throwing stuff at the wall to see what's going to stick. You get what I'm saying? So, that that's another thing. I feel like we all got to just face it. Like, in a mix of chasing our dreams, we learn to fight. We learn to stick stuff in. Like, when we really want something, we do it even when it hurts. You get what I'm saying? That's passion. So, it's like, if we chasing our goals like that and we chasing our dreams like that, I feel like we should be doing the people that we love the same way but in order to treat anybody the way that you want somebody to treat you you have to treat yourself that way so it's like you got to learn to fight even when you don't feel beautiful you got to learn to fight even when you can't get up in the morning you got to learn to write even when you don't want to write you got to learn to record even when you don't want to record <laughs> you got to learn to work even when you don't want to work you know what I'm saying because it's like if you want somebody to do that for you you got to start doing it for yourself. You get what I'm saying? I'm learning to stick it in. You can't just walk away from everything. You can't just call it quits. Oh, I'm mad, so I want to end something. I'm mad, so I want to walk away. You can't walk away from everything. I learned that in jail. You feel me? Everybody had their own experience on where they learned that at. I learned in jail, you got to stick that. You got to ride. <laughs> you got to ride that thing out to them folks let you go. It don't matter how bad you want to go home. How many nights you cry? Them tears ain't solving nothing. You still got you still gonna go home when no folk tell you to go home. You know, all you know is when you get your stuff, when you when they say, um, Jamie, pack it up. And you get that, that bed and you get them sheets and that blanket. And you ran into your ex and you leaving up out of there. You gotta have that, you gotta have that same feeling every day. That I got let go. I'm free. I made it out. I made it out. So if I made it out of that, I can make it out whatever the whatever like throw at me. So I feel like that's why God put you in situations where you feel like you can't get out of, and you feel like it's the house, and you feel like God, please do something. Please don't do me like that. Don't leave me here. Cause when you do get up out of that, when the other challenges come, you will have that strength to make it. 
Cause life, life is like chess. You get what I'm saying? Like sometimes it's gonna look like you finna lose, but you're gonna be right there. You just gotta stick it in. You just gotta keep fighting. You know. And then it's like we all feel like, dang, what am I fighting for? What am I fighting for? That's why you gotta live in the mix of of chasing your dreams. You gotta still live because you still gotta have that purpose. You still gotta have your team. You still gotta have that comfort. Who cares if they if they gonna turn their back or what's gonna happen in the future? Stop thinking about the future. Worry about right now. And then another thing that I'm learning too, y'all, we gotta stop speaking it. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. We gotta stop speaking it. You feel like that man gonna cheat on you? He gonna cheat on you? You don't. You ain't even met this man. Y'all just not getting to know each other, and you already saying he gonna cheat. So he gonna do it. You feel like this? You feel like you just met this girl? And she going to end up stabbing you in your back. She going to stab you in your back. You, you, you brought it in the atmosphere. You brought it. You talked it up. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. That's why you got to watch what you say. Even when I was at work, that situation with that girl turning against me, I knew it. I talked it up in my head. I knew she was going to stab me in my back. And when I knew it, when it came in my head, I did nothing about it. I didn't pray about it. I didn't ask God to rebuke it. I just kept the thought there. Did nothing about it. So, of course, by me thinking that and me constantly thinking it, guess what? It doesn't happen. So, life is death is in, life and death is in the power of the tongue. You got to watch what you say. You got to watch what you're thinking. That's why Jesus came and taught us, even if you think it, it's still a sin. Because if you think it, you're eventually going to act it and it's going to go into effect. You know what I'm saying, y'all? And when one door closed, another door open. Just know God got the best intentions for you. Pray about your situation before you just make a crazy decision on it. You feel me? And another thing, y'all, like I said earlier, I'm planning on starting another business very soon where I'm going to start selling journals and things like that so we can manifest the life that we want to live. So if y'all want to see more of that, make sure y'all liking these videos so, so y'all can keep my YouTube channel surfacing. Make sure y'all sharing these videos if y'all watching them. I really thank you guys for y'all support. I thank y'all from the bottom of my soul. I love y'all. <laughs>